Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, get free shipping and free 365 days to return on most orders. Novak Djokovic parted with coach Boris Becker at the end of last season and now the world number two opens this season reuniting with a good friend and former coach Dosan Vemic. Dosan, who has also coached the Bryan brothers, tweeted out this classic shot of the pair together, hashtag teamwork. Dosan joins Novak's longtime head coach, Marian Vida, on the team and is officially the second coach on the team, Djokovic told the Herald Sun. Novak has known him since he was very young, he says. He was always very friendly, always kind, helpful, and always available for any advice. We are more than friends, Djokovic says. We feel like we are family. So in addition to a close bond, Novak and Dosan also have a history of some pretty wild practice rallies. Here is a 68-shot mini rally they staged a few years back just before the U.S. Open. Djokovic won six of his 12 Grand Slam titles working with Boris Becker, and the pair say they are still very friendly, as you can see from this playful Instagram post that Novak addressed to Boris. Defending Doha champion Djokovic gave Horatio Zabalas the runaround. Nole was in sharp form in his straight sets win, and Horatio stopped on his walk-off to request a souvenir, a selfie. Horatio tweeted the moment, saying, I think I got the best selfie of the day, LOL. Nole is a genius. The post-match selfie was a new experience for Novak, who said, making a selfie, that's the first time I've had this experience in my career. Horatio, well done, very original. And in case you missed this, Alexander Zarev outdueled Roger Federer in three gripping tie-break sets at the Hopman Cup. Drives like this one. Game at the Sedgemini. And at times, the 35-year-old maestro made the ball dance. After playing a two and a half hour thriller, what do you do for an encore? Well, the guys went at it again in an epic bongo battle. Before the mixed doubles match, we saw a very poignant moment. A young girl chosen to conduct the coin toss was so moved by meeting her hero, Roger Federer, that she started crying. All four players consoled the young fan who smiled after she helped Roger correctly call heads. World number one, Andy Murray welcomed Federer back to the game. You know, after the injury problems that he had last year, you know, it's great to, to have him back on, on the tour and, you know, the crowds that have come out to watch him in, in Perth, you know, have been, been amazing. And, you know, enjoy having him around while while we can because he's he's been great for tennis, been a great ambassador for for the game, and you know a lot of young players um, you know have looked looked up to him and and probably continue to do so to today. So it's great that he's back. Um, hopefully he can stay fit and healthy and you know finish the you know however long he plays if it's three four more years or a couple more years. Hopefully he finishes them on on his own terms. We're going to leave you now with Rafa bending a banana forehand winner in Brisbane, just because you got to see it. Game That's the news for now, everybody. I'm Grace Carter. See you next time here on Tennis Now.